Novak Djokovic has given us an update on his injury, the hamstring injury that he suffered in Adelaide last week in that semi-final that he played against Medvedev. Of course, he went on to win Adelaide last week, but he still played with that injury. He actually played a practice match with Medvedev today, but it could only manage one set. This is what he had to say in the interview after that practice set. So this is what Djokovic had to say about the injury. It's the hamstring that I had problems with in Adelaide last week. I just felt it pulling and I didn't want to risk anything worse. I played a set and apologized to Medvedev, and he was understanding. I just want to avoid any big scares before the Australian Open. He also went on to say, talking about the Adelaide title, and the night before, I woke up all right, went deep into the night last night with work done with the physio. Talked with the doctors as well of the tournament, etc. There was a lot of care going into today's match, being the final, about the hamstring. It was all right. A few times in the match, I felt the muscle was tightening up, but nothing that would worry me for my performance. So that's what Djokovic had to say about the injury, both after the final in Adelaide, where he said that he was talking about uh, before the final and how he was feeling the night before, but also about after this practice set with Medvedev. Now, he was supposed to play, I think, for about an hour and a half with Medvedev in a practice set, but he only could play one set, and it was only for 35 minutes before he jumped off court and someone else replaced him. So it's a little bit of a concern for Novak Djokovic. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Djokovic is still the favorite for the Australian Open with this injury cloud? Because it definitely affected his performance against Korda. We would have thought that maybe he would have beaten Korda in maybe straight sets. Uh, or maybe not have gotten gone the distance the way he did and play for three hours had he been freely moving because the movement was definitely compromised. But let me know down in the comments below, do you think Djokovic should still be the favorite for the Australian Open despite having an injury?